Hi, the new version of Windows 11 23H2 has flooded the internet. What's so special about it? What kind of AI assistant has been added? And most importantly, is there any point in updating? Let's get the exact answers. While reviewing innovations, you will probably have your own thoughts and comments. Write them under this video. Let's start the review of Windows 11 23H2. And this is the last major update before the Windows 12. And we start with Copilot. In the new version, it has already left the browser and become a separate application. What is it? Since Microsoft owns 49% of the OpenAI company, it used the developments of ChatGPT in its operating system. Copilot is practically the same ChatGPT, a pre-trained text generator. It takes information from large amounts of Internet text data and presents it to you in a way that feels like natural communication. On the one hand, this is a very useful development. You can ask questions both about setting up Windows and a variety of topics and receive answers in a convenient form. But keep in mind that this is not artificial intelligence in the literal sense. It doesn't have consciousness or something like that and it doesn't compose unique texts. Everything it offers is copied from the internet resources, instructions, etc. If you can use ChatGPT, then there is no need for a copilot and I don't see any point in updating just for it. Although it can do some things, for example, change the personalization theme, arrange windows in order, or summarize a long article, this is not yet the smart voice assistant that we are waiting for and dreaming about. We'll see if something changes in Windows 12. Let's hope. There are changes in the new Windows 11 that deserve attention, but I don't want to waste time on them. So, in short, they changed the location of the settings in Explorer to make it look like a browser. Changes in a widget settings. Support for RAR and 7-zip archives 20 years later as this was supposed to happen. Windows Backup was updated using the OneDrive Cloud, as well as the sound mixer. Paint now supports lawyers. And a few more little things that are not anything special, but at the same time not bad. If you are used to automatic updates, then most likely you will not notice any special changes, except perhaps the copilot and the design of the taskbar. By the way, if you don't want your Windows to be updated and change it, watch our video on how to do this. A program that I made myself will help. But there are a couple of interesting innovations that I want to discuss. They interested me, this is something new that has not existed before, it is unlikely that this is something that has already been finalist and is directly necessary, but it may still be developed in the future. The first is pass case. This is something similar to how your accounts and passwords are stored in Google account and Apple Cloud. In apps and websites you can set your own passwords and link them to your Microsoft account. Moreover, your passwords in the form of keys will not necessarily be stored in the cloud. They can be saved on your local computer, on your mobile device and protected with biometrics or a PIN code. Quite an interesting idea for secured access to your online accounts. I'm sure that many large sites will quickly enable this function and will be compatible with Windows. Google had already done this. And in the system itself, in the parameters, you can view and manage your keys. What do you think about this idea? The second new product that interested me was the Dev Drive Virtual Disk. It is a new form of storage that can improve performance for key developer workloads. You need to create a virtual disk of at least 50 GB on the disk and name it Dev Drive and then format it via the command line with the mark Dev Drive. You will get a special virtual disk with the new RareFS file system, which provides security and quick access to small files without an antivirus. This is specific for storing application source codes, project files, cache, various output and intermediate files. All this should work especially well with Visual Studio. The Microsoft information site describes in great detail the instructions for the new disk format as well as the minimum requirements for a PC to work with it. To ensure the operation of the new product, a new application will be built into the system, Dev Home, a center for creating, testing and deploying Windows applications. It looks like it will be developed now but ordinary users, not programmers, do not need it. And that's basically all that the new Windows 11 update 
can give us. It's clear that Microsoft is trying to do something new, but so far none of the above has interested me so much that I want to update the system. I think the most interesting things are being held back in order to present Windows 12 and sell it. What new Windows products are you interested in? I repeat once again, it's interesting to read your comments. Watch other videos on the Sino Problems channel and improve your computer skills.